All right, got a Daiwa Tatula CT in a seven three to one gear ratio. Gonna throw around today. See if we can grab anything with a Zoom Ultra Vibe Speed Craw. Water looks pretty murky today. But really still, there's a bite. Got one. Yep, got a little guy. Just a little guy. Tiny little guy in the speed craw. There he goes, he fell off on his own. Those little ones jumped so bad I was trying not to get stuck on the hook. It was sticking out pretty far. This Daiwa Tattoola CT, I really like it. Um, it is, like I said, 7.3 to 1, so a little faster gear ratio. But I just have a quarter ounce bullet weight um, in the small speed craw. And it casts relatively far. Um, I know when I put on a heavier 3 8 ounce, half ounce jig, I can really get some distance with it, but um, the retrieve is smooth, cast smooth. It's a pretty compact profile, the CT, since we're compact. I like this reel at the price point. Uh, it's 129 retail, but the, this model, I believe, is going to be replaced with a newer Daiwa Tatula CT, so you can find them on considerable discount sometimes. The braking system is really good. It's a uh, Daiwa Mag 4C brakes. You can see the magnetic adjustment dial on the outside. Uh, the Mag 4C brakes have been the best magnetic brakes I think I've fished. Solely magnetic brakes. It's got that tiny little guy. I don't even know if he was half a pound. The Tattoola CT though, it's all aluminum frame with composite side plates, but it's got this nice kind of gloss, shiny finish. It's comfortable in your hand, or it feels comfortable to the touch. Yeah, it casts really well, even with a relatively lighter bait, you get pretty good distance. I think the new Tattoola CT is going to have a thinner, I, or I don't know what they call it, but it's going to have a thinner paddle handle. Uh, I kind of like these wider eye-shaped ones, has some good sticky grip material on it. It's just nice to grab onto. Drag star here clicks. I have my, I have my drag turned down pretty far, fishing with the Texas rig. And then there's a spool tension knob. This does not click. But once I seem to get it in the right spot, the spool tension, I typically leave it.
definitely gets a pretty good casting distance. Um, the magnetic dial, as you can see, is outside on the palm side. Um, it doesn't bother me too much sitting there, and I like to palm my reels. As you can see, I kind of like to hold it like that. Um, doesn't seem to get in the way or cause too much disturbance. I was uh, adjusting this on accident when I was casting sometimes if I had my hand up there, but I t you can tighten it down here in the middle. There's a little screw. And once you tighten that down well enough, it doesn't wanna, it doesn't turn on its own or turn when you hit it when you cast. thumb bar clicks nicely it feels sturdy it's kind of this it's a plastic material but it feels sturdy I think on their higher higher end tattoo is they swap out that plastic for uh, similar to the the body it's more of a matte or aluminum feeling there I'm getting a couple bites but for me I think the biggest let it go the biggest pros of this reel is casting distance I can cast just another tiny little guy for me it's the casting distance is the biggest um, I can like I said when I get a little heavier bait I can get some real distance on my cast um, also the braking system uh, the braking system is really good on this reel I typically don't have a lot of issues with backlash once you get it set to a good setting for your brake or excuse me your brake set to a good setting for your lure that you're trying to cast also the size it's it's compact for the tattoo series it's not the tiniest reel out there the lowest profile reel but it's comfortable where it is the size it's it's got a little bit of heft to it um, but it's not I wouldn't call it bulky per se it's comfortable in the hand and then I do like the knobs. I wish the handle was a little longer. I think this is a 90 millimeter handle in handle length. I typically prefer the 95 that you see on some of the Shimano's and some of the 